6.6 Duramax LBZ swap. Uh, we did it the Mod Mafia way. We did the new uh, AC condenser, dual oil cooler, three inch uh, intercooler stack, and then the uh, big aluminum radiator. And then you can see the mandrel bent TIG welded um, intercooler pipes and intake pipes. And man, they really set it off real well. You'll notice we have a driver side dipstick that is very unique because we have an alpha upper and lower oil pan and windage tray. Uh, we changed everything on this engine from the alternator to the um, AC compressor to the power steering, PSC power steering pump, water pump, idler pulley, glow plugs, uh, fleece injectors, fleece 10 millimeter CP3 pump, fleece uh, custom turbo, fully built block. It's ready to go at 650 horse, 1200 foot pounds. Um, got our shelf here, so everything's nice and neatly organized. Um, have a brand new wiring harness. This wasn't a takeout, this wasn't a donor. It was brand new and cut for us the way we needed it. Uh, we put our CTIS lines on it, the braided stainless steel with uh, plastic coating so it doesn't chafe other things. And that's for a 92 to 96 truck. We also have it for 97 and up. Um, we also did 12K half shafts. We did 42 inch tall uh, Goodyear Wrangler mud tires, uh, Kevlar's on 17 inch CPEX. We had 12K half shafts with a 12 inch uh, braking system. The 16.5 Warren TI with the front winch bumper by Mod Mafia. And we narrowed this in house with the Factor 55 flat link uh, on the very front of it. Master pull line and our, our Haas. Um, but then back to the engine. The engine is mated to an ATS uh, built transmission. And that's mated to our uh, tail housing, the Yorva tail housing that converts it to all wheel drive. It's a cast piece and it allows us to run an all wheel drive T case without any adapters. So we have full spline engagement from trans to T case. And we don't have any adapters from our engine to transmission either. So we have full spline engagement for maximum strength, shorter stack up, everything else. We also changed the fuel system, new uh, main fuel tank. We did a big 5 8 pickup straw on it. We have a fast 165 GPM pump and it's going to this fleece CP3 10 millimeter uh, injection pump and fleece injectors and turbo. Um, we did our rocker panel protection along the side of it uh, that goes all the way under. This is the original design dating over I think, 15 years back, but it's all way, all one steel piece. Then we went and we did the uh, 2225 T case and that goes uh, all wheel drive and it's engine water cooled. So bear with me here. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible, but it's kind of hard on the ground. Um, so we have our diff and then we have our Blue Hummer locking half shaft bolts. And we also have the locking diff hardware on here and all the uh, well-known uh, spindle nut, locking spindle nuts. We uh, Cerakoted the calipers because we got tired of them rusting and looking like crap, but that's a 10 inch rotor. So we get a lot of extra braking power that's needed. We mounted them alpha style. So it gave us clearance for the coolant pipe which was welded in house to go up and over the diff. So kind of get in view, there we go. So it goes this way, over, up and back. So you see we have plenty of clearance. We ran lines through this cross member for the brakes and CTIS and other things. Um, yeah. Then one of the ways differentiates us from many of the other, one of the many ways we're different than the others is we only do the alpha trans alpha oil oil lower engine oil pan and upper engine oil pan so this is what they did on the alpha and it also puts the uh dipstick on the driver's side so it makes it real easy to access and do maintenance but you can see how the extra clearance it got we got to mount the uh factory undercarriage protection and we didn't really have to modify it too much around the engine. We had to take out the little scoop part. And then we mounted out the back a plate to cover the uh, pan for the um, transmission. And then you can see the fast system back in there tucked in real nice. 
You can see that ATS purple. Um, but let me keep coming back. So yes, this kit's designed and built to run with a Shepard steering gear. This truck doesn't have it yet. Um, but you see the clearances on the drive shafts. It runs really good, smooth, even to well over 100. That might or might not have been tested. Um, but if you know us pretty well, you know we tested it. So undercarriage protection, then there's that 2225T case which makes it all-wheel drive. So this piece right here, right here, goes on the back of the ATS uh, transmission. This is our special piece, and we're the only ones that have it, that mount to an all-wheel drive T-case. This works for the 2225 as well as the 242. But if you have an all-wheel drive conversion, most of the time they put adapter plates here and space back and unengage the splines. And then it complicates driveline angles and uh, makes everything a lot weaker. You can also see our billet tail housing so you get the right input sensor on it. And then uh, rear drive shaft and we're uh, 1350 on the rear U-joint. There's a new uh, main tank, etc. But as you can see, a pretty pretty thorough job and on the inside we have some of the stuff was done in the previous visit uh, of the interior built aluminum bezels but we have a edge programmer here or a programmer with a scan gauge shows all the telemetry built-in alarms so you can have as much fun until it goes off and then you know you need to look at something or not um, you know, we, this was a gasser, so we had to put a wait to start light in. And then what else was interesting? We moved the AC from down here to up here. Um, we custom did the dog house to incorporate, and we put a lot of insulation and, and heating and sound deadening there. Um, the other thing we did was we had to change the filler neck, and we didn't realize this till we went and did the first fill up, but this was a gas truck. And so it had a gas nozzle. So go try to fill up at a diesel pump. They have these bigger nozzles and it wouldn't fit. So that was kind of funny with all the extra things we thought of through this entire build. And then we go to fill it up and it was just like, oh. <laughs> anyway, so we got it handled with this uh, military style, mainly because we just think it's really neat because it's like a plumber's plunger. And you can flow full bore into that thing and fill her up quick. I'm putting this back all terrible, but you guys get the idea. Um, yeah, and this truck already had our three inch frame mount body lift on it. So you can see how, and this was done three years ago, I think. So it lifts the rear bumper with the body uh, and the brush guard with the body. But uh, yeah. It's a great truck. It runs really good. I'm really impressed. You know, I love it when our customers challenge us to do different things we've never done before. And then we do it. All right, guys. Thanks.